All right, welcome. I want to thank all my old supporters first and all my new subscribers. I uh, appreciate you. Let's just go over a brief synopsis. Um, please don't ha get, offer me a title or a topic. Mine comes from my source and I just I, I, I do what they want me to do because I'm doing more of a, a little encouragement support and maybe it's something that's on somebody's fear so I'll get topics like why your mother act like that or your dad or why you get treated like that or you operate out your ego I lost my first channel like weird topics that probably nobody touched from what I understand right but then a lot of them people have okay so that's good now I taught myself tarot card readings in three weeks um, like anybody else, I was taught not to touch tarot cards, but yeah. um, but at the end of the day, um, there are Christian tarot card readings for all you people who want to judge me. Plethora of Christian tarot card readers of all races, ethnicities. All you gotta do is Google, you'll see them, and they say in the name of Jesus and they quote the Bible scriptures and everything. Okay, please do not judge me. I don't know why I feel like I have to say this. The energy has changed. I am not judging you. I am a seer. I was born with this gift when I was a little girl, and let me tell you, your life does not reflect mine. Meaning that if we were throwing stones, you would you wouldn't have any stones to throw only throw stones to throw so let's just remember that only by the grace right that we all um get forgiven and saved because i was a christian for many many years and i've been celibate 11 years right okay i don't know why i feel like i have to explain myself because i don't like to explain myself i have another side i'm a taurus but for some reason my energy is changing and i don't want these um people who are going to be very very judgmental please leave my channel and thank you for your support all right so let's get started i have some topics i have to um do um the ancients told me and i want to get them done and it's um do you still have passion and spice for the person that you're with your partner your wife your boyfriend your husband your significant other it could be a crush i don't care you have to define who, who you have passion and you know spice with because you could be with somebody right now and maybe you don't know and i think we're going to do um three pals so let's get started all right all right, pile three. I'm not trying to make this long. I got a, a long um, reading later. Um, so let's look at, is the passion still gone? No. Do you still have passion for this man or woman? This is why I don't, don't like to stay focused. Cause I mean, you know. Do you still have passion for this man or woman? You could be drawing new people. You could be drawing all three of my piles, call it collective. I used to play every game until they stopped me, probably like my third year yeah so now i'm back to picking pals because i could be brutally honest i can't do my own reading right um and so uh, this time i was drawing a pile two and three but you can be drawing all three sometimes i'll be drawing the one two and three only take about 10 percent say this shit don't belong to me all right so pile three do you still have passion for this man or woman right husband wife boyfriend girlfriend is more in alignment but it could be a crush it could be a co-worker or something like that i don't know i don't know who you're with or who you're pining over and this is split some of y'all in relationships and some of y'all not so i can't really tell um and it could be new relationships too at that new like two years shit these days one two days is a lifetime all right do you still have passion for this man or woman help me to get out of self help me get out of ego help me to stay focused and <clears throat> provide love encouragement support do you still have passion for this man or woman i don't pick one and two I read this. I think that men and women, uh, some of y'all could be tarot card readers, psychics, and seers. Some of y'all do own some black cats. Some of y'all are very, very sexually active. Is it promiscuous or whatever? Y'all like sex. Um, and if you had a dry spout, sprout, how you say dry, whatever. Um, uh, can't say, can't talk tonight. Dry something. Then I'm gonna be looking at my video going, I don't know the word. Um, This person turn you on. I know that. I feel like you think about this person. Some of y'all haven't had sex with this man or woman yet. Or if you have, you want sex again. So that's that's definitely passionate. Yeah. I feel like you're very sexy, very attractive uh, men and women. And this man or woman could be very sexy and attractive. They do it for you. I feel like the passion is there. And um, I think this man or woman put something on your mind. You think about them. Now, you might fight it and act like you don't. Because this talks about rest and relaxation and re um, recuperation. And if you know me, I'm still processing that word I'm trying to think of. I can't think of it. But anyway, um, at the end of the day, I feel like this part, you, you, you are still passionate about this man or woman. Now, I don't know if they belong to you. I don't know if you're a side piece. That's another reading. But I definitely feel like this man or woman um, does it for you. And I am seeing a third party. I don't know why. Yeah, some of y'all get down like that with three sums and y'all have. Sorry, I had to pick that up. Okay, so. But why would the Queen of Wands? 
Yeah, I, I definitely think there's still a lot of passion there. And it's it, passion. What is passion like that? That Yeah, passion. Yeah, I know. See, that's why I like to learn words, even though we think we know words and we learn words. I do feel like this person definitely excites you um, in a lot of ways, if you know what I mean. All right, let's see. Now, whether you're speaking to this person or not, or y'all on the break or no contact, or this could be somebody online, this could be a co-worker, this could be very much a person that don't belong to you, um, or this could be somebody you with. I don't know, I feel fairly new, but I'm not a um, psychic, so I try to stay away from that. Could be somebody you met at church, honey. Demar, something like that. Meditation, something like that. Um, I feel like you think about and daydream about this person all the time. I wouldn't be, remember that song? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you wake up in the middle of the night, this person thinking about you, you think about this person. Remember that song? It's like a hook that never gets out of your head. But I'm 56, so I don't know if y'all know this song, but five o'clock in the morning, what you gonna do? I don't know, some girl used to sing that song. I don't know the rights, I don't own the copyrights of that, and I don't remember the name, so forgive me. But I feel like this person makes you think about them, whether you've had, um, any kind of relationships with this person, whatever the dynamics is, my right foot is burning. There is a, some passion here, honey. All right. So, um, what's the question? Does this person? This is why, this is why Terry had to write it down. You see that right now? Do you still have passion? And I don't even know where I put that little piece. There. Do you still have passion and excitement for this person? This person turns you on. I see a lot of side pieces in there. Crushes and shit. Some of y'all got some um. Yes. Oh, God. Not only does this person turn you on, you love this man or woman. God, dog. You love this man or woman. I don't care about the dynamics. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's a person online. I don't care if you never met this person. Yes. Yes. This person does it for you. Yes. And I don't know if you went, met, ever met the person or with the person or the person with somebody else or this is your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, something like that. But you feel real safe and you love this person. You feel very comfortable with this person. Yeah, honey. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could be drawing all three of my piles and call it collective. I don't know why I got to say that. I only take about 10%. Um, so if some of you guys are coming from pile two, <laughs> which I'm coming from pile two, I'm drawing a two and three, um, and I'm brutally honest. I'll tell you that if this man or woman matures and grows and you're very supportive and they change, I feel like there's a lot of passion. So it's so much passion. It's just igniting. Like, this is the pile where... You might cry um, during intimacy uh, or just conversations, just long walks of conversations and just talking and, you know, and even if this is somebody from your past, I want to tell new people, I could be picking up somebody from your past, present or future, whoever you're thinking about. I feel like it was very, very passionate. It was very deep. You see the water, you know, nobody knows the abyss is how deep it is. I think it was very, very passionate. I see a lot of passion there, whether you're with the person or not. This is my reading. I feel like, yes, you, I feel like, you, but I don't know your position you play in, in this person's life. And it, the queen of um, wands came out first. And so, and then, and then we got the um, short term, you know, rest, recuperation, relax, meditate. But your intuition tells you that you still have passion for this person. I feel that, right? Now, you might have prayed it out of you. You know, you might have moved away from this person, but it's still there. It's like, it's just laying dormant. It's there. And then some of y'all not hiding it. You, you really care about this person. It's very passionate. Talking so much. Saying the same thing. Anything else? Do, you, do they have passion for this person? Now, nobody didn't get four cards. Why am I giving four cards? Do they have passion for this man or woman? I got to do this other reading. Ace of Pentacles. Like I said, I feel like you could be in no contact with this person. You could very much just Ace of Pentacles upside down. So it talks about for new people, like new beginnings, you know what I'm saying? But this is the Ace of Pentacles. So you could be very much no contact with this person. You could have met this person online. Y'all could have lack of communication. You could be like, sometimes I feel very passionate because you could be coming from two. I feel very passionate about this person. And this person make me mad. And then I get fearful and I get doubt. And then I just take my feelings back. There's no passion. There's dead. So yes, you definitely could have been drawn to two. Um, you ride the fence. <laughs> well, I feel like a lot of y'all guys are, are feisty and spite and um, spite and could be um have a slick i'm gonna say a slick tongue yeah 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 and blindfolded yeah i just feel like a lot of this pal the person doesn't belong to you i'm sorry and if the person belongs to you you could be very much have you a side piece or somebody your heart has some kind of emotional connection with somebody else and that who maybe that's who you're asking about or you are you're asking about because we are asking about the person that you're with that's what it's about you you very you could very much be pining for somebody else and there's no passion there with this man or woman that you're with now boyfriend girlfriend partner off and on i don't care i feel like you could have passion for somebody else right that's if you plan that part of 
of I'm already in a relationship. But if you're not and you're the side piece or, you know, the boyfriend, girlfriend or a question like that, I do feel like there's still passion there. Let's see this. I, 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 I got this one wrong. I can feel like I got this because it's very, very complex. I'm getting new people and it's very, very complex and the energy has changed. But what I do know at one time, you really did have passion for this man or woman. Sub subjected to whatever's going on, um, maybe it, it, it's withered. But I feel like it's still there, though. So I'm not having a conversation with my girlfriends or some male friends. And I go, um, you know, do you still like your crush, you know, or this person you met at work? Or they be like, well, he's married or she's married or they got a boyfriend or girlfriend or I'm a side piece, something like that. No. You know what I mean? I thought about it. I'm contemplating. But at the end of the day, I feel like you would be lying because I feel like there's so much love there. Right. That passion. Like I, passion is not the problem. Right, we're not doing that kind of reading. Whoever this man or woman is, whether you met him online, whether it's a crush, somebody you met at work, grocery store, um, you know, you know, I feel like there's there's passion there. Yeah, thought I got a couple things in my head. I feel like some of y'all got some um side pieces, and I think you could be asking about your side pieces, and that's and that's and that's and that's who you got your passion for. I don't know. I, I, this one I want to dump. Man, I've never dumped a tarot card reading. I still put it out there. I call it like practice. I'll be practicing. Do they still have passion for this man or woman? Yeah, see, this is a hermit. So you got a short energy and a long energy. And the hermit is wise. And so the, what the hermit does is the hermit, she likes it, or a man, she has to use a gender. They like to take their time and think about it. And maybe that's what you're trying to do. That's what you do on the evaluation. Do I still have that passion? And does he or she excite me? Is that a passion still there? And this is not no easy... Um, this is not short-term energy. This is long-term. Term. Maybe you think about it. You go, you know, what what excited me and, and what was passionate with this man or woman. It's not there anymore because maybe they eroded it. Maybe they tested you. You know what I mean? Maybe they've done something. Maybe they put you in positions and compromised in positions that you didn't want to be in. Be in the side piece. They never leave their husband and wife. Or you're married and you can't leave your, or, or with a boyfriend or girlfriend, you can't leave your circumstances. And so you go, well, you know, the passion is not really there. But then you got that other side going, no matter what position I play no matter what dynamics it is for some reason he could be a player she could be a player i still have this passion for this man or woman you see this light and it's still burning bright and i, I just don't know what to do yeah let me let me uh grab me something to drink i'll be right back anyway it could be issues in relationships or loss of emotions and when you have loss of emotions that means it's loss of passions right passion and if it's issues in relationships and it's you know then it's if it's issues in relationships then you sometimes you lose that 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 flair that passion right but because i got the ace of cups i feel like issues are you can be solved right you know and i feel like if it can be solved i feel like you still have this passion so i'm gonna say there's passion there but that doesn't mean that you're not broken up or you're no contact or you never even met this man or woman yet or you could be a crush or side piece we went through all that so it, maybe today there's no passion but tomorrow's a different story right you ever break up with somebody or you love somebody or whatever it is or crush or whatever you go i hate him and her and he, people be like do you hate him and her you know just stay out of my business <laughs> you know what i'm saying because i might hate him and her today but i might love them tomorrow this is this type of shit right let me get your last card um are, do they have any passion for this man or woman help me get out of self help me get out of ego these are just I, my i'd be saying my readings is short i gotta do this other reading seven of cups right yeah because it's like promising illusions right romantic illusions and you, maybe this person you know played some games maybe could have been deceptive maybe you have a lot of choices um you know maybe you value something this person don't value um maybe you feel like this person don't value you maybe you're out in the dating scene now so it's like you don't really think about it like that uh you could be over you know you know, you could be into a lot of emotions, very emotional um, type men and women. Sometimes you feel passionate, sometimes you don't, because you maybe you have so many choices, you know, that, or maybe this person has a lot of choices and it turns you off, or they, maybe they played you, they played games, or maybe you feel like it's an illusion, it's something, maybe you're asking yourself now, what her, her, him, him, me and him, her, me and him had, was it something real? Maybe it wasn't, maybe it was an illusion, maybe the passion really wasn't there, or you could be very, very passionate about this person, but you have a lot of choices and you're not not really thinking about it right now y'all it's complicated anything yes it's complicated shit complicated <laughs> anything else do they have passion for this man or woman look at the moon 
Yeah. I feel like you manifest this person, but you also could manifest somebody new. You could be manifesting a whole bunch of... You could be manifesting a lot of different things. And this is the moon. I think maybe you and this person deal with some trauma. Maybe you have some brokenness. Or maybe you deep down inside, you really, really... None of the trauma, none of that. Because you could be a healed person. You know, work toward your healing. I don't care. Third eye could be open as men and women. But maybe deep down inside, you really love this man or woman. You don't want anybody to know that you're very passionate and you care about this person like that. And it's like a best kept secret for yourself. Maybe you have some kind of hidden hate resentment bitterness for this person ain't no passion there i can't call it this is kind of like all over the place but i had fun trying but i will say that the, the cup is there and if i was doing a private reading i would be tell, calling out bullshit i'll call out bullshit and you'd be like well he's married she's married or there's my co-workers and they talk bad about me or he talked about me to other co-workers or to his friends or his family she talked about me to her friends and family or all she wanted was money or you know what i'm saying i think you can give me every reason which is valid to maybe hate this person, but deep down inside, people have done horrible things to people, psychological, mental, physical, spiritual abuse, or they just maybe didn't want you, or they overlooked you, or they could be with somebody else, and that doesn't mean that you still don't love them, and you still don't have no passion there, but we're not talking about passion, I think you do, you do have some hidden passion that you don't want to talk about, but I could be wrong, you could be, maybe don't have, be passionate about this person, but if I was doing a reading, I would say to you, I see passion, it's just it's circumstances and it, it might not be today not tomorrow's a different story later